What's up guys, Muhammad Abdullah here. Apple September event, its main event of the year is right around the corner where it will be unveiling its brand new smartphones which will be coming out with brand new processes. In this video, let's compare the power improvements the A13 will be bringing over its predecessor and arguably one of its biggest competitors, the Samsung Exynos 9825. Before moving on to the power improvements, let's just quickly go over the similarities or I should say the similarity since there is only one mainly. They are both based on 7 nanometer extreme ultraviolet process. Well, don't get confused by the name, it just means that they are based on a more efficient 7 nanometer process. Now on to the main part where we compare the Geekbench scores. Well, the Apple A13 will be getting a single core score of around 5500 that's expected as the Apple A12X got a score of around 5000. In comparison, the Exynos 9825 gets a score of 4500. There's still a big difference between the Exynos 9825 and the Apple A13. But the percentage difference is shrinking every single year as both the processes are making progress at a really good rate. Multicore is where we start to see the big improvements as the Apple A13 is expected to get a multicore score of around 19,000 as compared to the 10,200 of the Exynos 9825. Well, this means that if you are going to load heavy applications, do photo or video editing on your smartphone, the Apple A13 will come out on top every single time. Well, it might not be 90% faster like the scores show, but it's going to be at least 50% faster than every other mobile processor out in the consumer market. Well, those are all my thoughts. Let me know yours with a comment down below and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.